All right, everybody. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. I'm hoping that what I've got under this paper right here is a genuine Japanese woodblock print. Now the frame is about falling apart, so I'm going to see what we see. There's a piece of wood behind it. That's kind of weird. Hopefully, I'm not about to do anything reckless here. I believe I've just got to scooter out this whole piece of wood here. Very gently allow this to come out. I'm going to set this frame to the side and I'm going to use some clamps and stuff to repair it. Clamps and glue. Sir, sir. So, let's see what we've got here. Kind of gives me hope that it's actually on a piece of wood like that. I think that's a little classier than cardboard, don't you think? I don't know if this was the uh, packing company that, that did this up, or it's been in some tissue paper for a while now. I don't, I'm not sure. I have to admit, the third-party shipping company did a wonderful job packing everything, and it came to me very safely. I'm sorry if you can't hear what I'm saying. I'm giving credit where it's due, but but nobody deserves $100 worth of credit <laughs> for shipping a box. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. We've got a, got a bit of a fancy border to that, don't we? <laughs> I am super into this. Now, I think this is the Seven Fortunes. Are there seven of them? Yeah, it looks like I did that right. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Do you guys want to know? Do you want to know whether or not this is a real woodblock print? For that, we have to flip it over. Oh no, there's another piece of cardboard back here. Oh, and there we go. Isn't that, isn't that nice? So, the back of a woodblock print, you should pretty much be able to see the picture through the back of it. So I am now convinced that this is a genuine woodblock print on a very old piece of paper. Um, in fact, there's a little paper label over here. I don't know if we can get that or not. Woodblock print originated by H. Satanobo, uh, engraved and printed by Uchida Woodblock Printer, the treasure ship. A treasure ship is an auspicious design which would be used in celebration of wedding or the completion of a new building in Japan. There are two kinds of treasure. Oh no, I want to read the rest of it. Isn't that amazing? <clears throat> Let me... No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep letting it rest like that. First off, this weird silvery paper over here that has the antiquing to it. I... <laughs> okay. Let's look at the signature that I can't read and I can't tell you anything about, other than the fact that they just told us who the artist was. I'm not going to try to uh, pretend I already memorized that name, though. Um, so yeah, I don't know the names of any of these fortunes. I know that... Uh, Japan had uh, seven fortunes, apparently. One of them had eight. China or Japan had eight fortunes, I think, or gods. And maybe I'm even doing it wrong. I'm not going to speculate. I haven't looked up anything about this. I just wanted to make sure it was a real print. It sounds weird to say a real print, but uh, uh, woodblock prints are a little bit different. What they had to do was uh, 
uh, separate each color by a different block of wood so then they would press this down like like say this yellow maybe matches this yellow over here so for the yellow they would just put down one block okay and that would have that drawing and that color in it so if you didn't line up all these blocks perfectly then obviously your colors and your pictures are gonna look all weird but yeah this one has a uh, it has super vibrant colors over at the uh, the boat here. I don't know if you're quite seeing it the way I am. It's so rich at the uh, black portion. I love the water. The water is super cool looking. Oh, I hope you guys are seeing this for all I am. Oh, I really like this. I am jazzed up. This is my first real woodblock print. And I do believe that that is what the sticker and the back of it and everything about it indicate. I love the yellow. I love the greens. I love all of their faces. They are so handsome and beautiful. I mean, genuinely, I, I just adore this piece. <laughs> it's so neat. Yes. I like the serious warrior guy back here. And this guy. This guy, I think I've got... um. Jianji? Uh, I think, I think I might have come close to saying that, right? Is the uh, Chinese art of paper cutting. And I think I've got a paper cut out of this gentleman, but as a Chinese uh, fortune. And I think he usually has a uh, crane and a deer with him, if, if I'm getting which guy it is correct. But yeah, I am... I am just super, super happy with all the details and all the neatness. I mean, beautiful, rich colors, super neat stuff. I don't know what age this is from or anything, so I mean, I'll have to research this further. Uh, I don't know if that sticker is, you know, from the early 1900s or something. Maybe this was printed off again. And you know, it's not like they threw the wood blocks out when a guy got done printing one of these he would uh you know sometimes the blocks would be passed down to the next generation sometimes they'd be lost or sold or what have you but yeah they've made many uh they've made many reproduction wood prints like throughout the ages you know wood blocks from 1200 have been reproduced in you know 1600 those aren't exact years i don't know when they started making wood block prints so don't don't at me on that I didn't have time to Google it. I suppose I did if I thought I was going to talk about a woodblock print. But yeah, I love every detail of this. I am into it. Anybody else like that? I think it's cool. Set and sail with these dudes. <laughs> I have to imagine that this might actually bring me a tiny bit of luck. I think I might keep this in my house forever as my first woodblock print. And I am, uh... I am super happy about it. I love you guys. This is Austin, the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll talk about some more art pretty soon here. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, do the things, whatever.